what's wrong? Cray, the guy I'm seeing is a total loser. I have more fun with you than I have with him. Man problems? <laughs> Why can't I just find someone who likes to stay up late watching slasher films and eating candy till we throw up? <laughs> oh, yeah. She wants me. <laughs> Breathing heavier than usual. You're sweating a lot. I think you're in love. <laughs> I know. And Neil is so sweet and smart. He knows everything. You gotta admire the guy. I mean, living on the streets, being in a gang. To overcome all that is incredible. Wait, Neil wasn't in a gang. <laughs> oh, sure he was. He even had a gun. Now you're sweating and pale. You didn't know? you knew. I ruined your life, haven't I? Facial? On me? What am I gonna do? Natalie Zuckerman knows where I work. She even knows where I live. Marcy, Natalie's a very nice and sweet girl. Yeah, never found her that annoying. Good, because she's here. <laughs> Mrs. Blake. Hi, how are you? Do you remember me? Natalie, Natalie Zuckerman. Do you remember the time that I came over for dinner and you made that tuna casserole? Do you have anything even close to that in the fridge? I thought you were going to get rid of this old couch. I need water. <laughs> Marcy, how do I say this in a nice way? The heck with nice. Get her out of here. <laughs> Your friend just took a baloney sandwich right out of my mouth. She's driving me nuts. I've got to get rid of her. So break up with her. We're not dating. <laughs> uh, Natalie, we really need to talk. Ooh, can't. I hate to eat and run, but I forgot I have my grandfather's funeral today. That's why I'm so sad. But I'll call you tonight, first thing. Around eight. <laughs> What's going on, little man? Oh, a private party. I can see. Very romantic. Candles, flowers. So who's the lucky girl? Well, you're the girl. We'll see if you get lucky or not. <laughs> I get it. This is your way of thanking me for running you that video. Oh, Jane, you know me so well. But I know you. Look, pepperoni and mushroom, your favorite. Shall we dine? <laughs> Wow, you really know how to treat a girl. No, you mean I know how to treat a woman. <laughs> By the way, you look ravishing this evening. I what? You're acting weird. You're making me nervous. Oh, you don't have to be nervous with me. Crying apple spritzer. <laughs> oh, man, it's Rick. Don't answer it. I'd better, or he'll cry. <laughs> what do you want? How do you know where I live? I really have to talk to you. Hey, there's a thing called a phone, you know. Hey, I can see Jane whenever I want. No, whenever I want. Sorry, Jane. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll arm wrestle you for her. <laughs> Forget it, Rick. Come on, I can take him. Lay off. He's just a kid. Just a kid? I am not just a kid, I'm not. I'm a big boy. I think the kid's got a crush on you. Yeah, and you call me ravishing. Why don't you say nice things like that? Because... <laughs> I'm waiting. Girl, looking all slim, trim, and buff. Why didn't you tell me you were in a gang? Whoa, 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 who told you that? Your sister. Oh, you can't believe anything Jane says. She's a lunatic. She's had electric shock therapy. If you don't believe me, oh, uh, look at her hair. I'm talking about Sue. Well, she's just as crazy. All the women in my family belong on Jerry Springer. You know, Neil, you came off being so honest. Can't believe how you fooled me. Well, I didn't fool you. I just told you what you wanted to hear. I mean, what if I said I was in a gang, huh? What if I told you I was in jail? But you were in jail, too? A little. 
<laughs> but if I had told you that, would you go on out with me? I'm not sure. But I can tell you this. Knowing that you lied to me, I definitely won't go out with you now. It's just, uh... I started England's most watched station. If you don't move your legs, you'll never feel the burn. <laughs> well, I've been burned enough in one day. Your friend Kate dumped me because you told her about my gangster days. I didn't know. She didn't know. It just came out in conversation. Oh, I see how that can happen. How are you? What a nice day. Neil was a gangbanger. Wanna go for a banana smoothie? Okay, I messed up big time. But so did you. You lied to Kate. There was more to it than just lying. All right? I'm ashamed of what I did. Girls don't go bring gangsters home to meet their parents. Sometimes I think you have the IQ of rayon, which is not one of your smarter fabrics. Look, <laughs> Look how far you've come. You should be proud of overcoming all those obstacles. Well, Kate wasn't proud. She dumped me because of it. Kate wouldn't judge you like that. If you want my opinion, go talk to her. Of course, you'll probably do whatever Mr. I know women better than they know themselves says. How did you know I took Ben's advice? Hello? A girl dumped you. <laughs> Look, I think we should talk. I'm really flattered that you like me so much, but... Look, I, I know what comes next. I've seen Ben blow off hundreds of chicks like this. You just want to be friends. Come on! You're the coolest guy I know. But the fact is, you're 12, and I'm... 17 and a half years old, 115 pounds, 5 foot 7, and a small scar on your left hip. <laughs> How do you know all that? Let's keep a little mystery in this relationship. <laughs> Cray, I know you don't think of me as a sister, but it's still weird for people to get involved when they live in the same house. Well, I'll move out. Better yet, you move out. I'll pick you up at your condo. Cray, <laughs> right now, you're just too young. But I won't always be this young. Tell you what, in five years, if neither of us has seen someone and I'm not dead or in jail, let's go grab a burger. You mean that? You bet. And Natalie, I have something important to say to you. You might want to sit. I'd like that. I sprained my ankle at my grandfather's funeral. Accidentally, fell into the grave. <laughs> Natalie Zuckerman, we've been together a long time. You're the most annoying person on this planet. And we've gone apart. We should move on. It's for the best. Be strong and don't cry. Wow. Too bad that you don't want to be friends with me because you're gonna miss out on the all expense paid trip to Europe that I planned with my whole family, plus the first class airplane ride on the Concorde and the shopping spree in France. But I am really glad that you were honest with me. Huh? You, Melissa, Natalie Zuckerman. Do you want to go to France? Hey, okay, can I talk to you for a second? Look, Neil. No, no, you look. Now, I know you think less of me because I was in a gang, but I got out of that life and I changed things around which took a lot of guts and courage. And if you can't respect that, then, well, I wouldn't want to be with you anyway. I wouldn't blame you. You wouldn't? If that was why I didn't want to be with you, you should have dumped my butt. So you do want to be with me? No. Right. You're a girl, and so, of course, I don't understand what you're saying. Look, the reason why I don't want to be with you is because you lied to me. You didn't trust me to handle the truth. No, no, no. I lied to you because I'm an idiot. I didn't trust you because I listened to my brother, who's even a bigger idiot than I am. I mean, I guess I underestimated how you'd react to my past. I'm sorry. So how about we start over? Great. <laughs> and no more lying. You got it. You know, that is a real ugly dress you're wearing. <laughs> When you're known for your... And now, just for you, a TNBC Halloween treat. I'm Will Smith. I look like Urkel. I'm a movie star. You're an idiot. The next Leonardo Decapitated. 
I am not Tickle Me Elmo. A big boy. Uh, what are you, the big bad wolf? You're looking at a special defect.